Welcome back to Talk To Me with the Coach as we're on the road in Richmond, Virginia for the MJBL, Met Metropolitan Junior Baseball League World Series in Richmond, Virginia. And I got, uh, got the executive director and the head man for MJBL, Mr. William Force. Coach Meaden, how, how you doing? doing? Great. Doing well. Doing well, well, tell our TV audience about MJBL. Well, we started in 1966 in Richmond, Virginia when there was a lack of opportunity for African-American youth to participate in organized baseball. The league was started then and it continued to grow. Uh, we went to a MJBL inner city classic so kids from across the country similar to kids in Richmond, Virginia would have a chance to play against each other whereas when you see Little League you don't see a whole lot of us so we were trying to provide that opportunity. Um, we started the Bobby Bonds Memorial Symposium which really sparked the league to grow because the name Bonds when Barry Bonds was hitting so many home runs African Americans really gravitated toward their name and it gave us even more credibility. Um, now this is our 24th MJBL Classic. We've got a gentleman from Chicago that is that is now our national commissioner that oversees and runs everything. And that's you, Coach Maiden, and I think we're uh, getting I stronger I'm going to be doing an interview and you trying to put me in here. Yeah, we're getting stronger and stronger with your leadership. So I want to thank you uh, in front of your TV audience. Well, I thank you for the opportunity to be national commissioner. Yeah, you're welcome. We, we, like I said, I can see things really growing with you in charge, and, and I say that with all sincerity. And you're bringing in kids from all over. That that has to be rewarding. Just see these kids come together, have fun, hey, good baseball. Yeah, that, that's correct. And, and a lot of them, they wouldn't have this opportunity if we didn't provide it for them. We provide it for them at the lowest cost possible. This event, uh, unlike others, when they put on tournaments to generate revenue. We take a loss every year, so we look for outside sponsors to come in who see the value in what we're doing and put the money up to, to subsidize the expense that these teams occur, incur, excuse me. So uh, that's, that's kind of our business model. It's, it's providing opportunities. It's not something where we're trying to make money off these kids. We're trying to give them the opportunity, the older kids. We try to get college coaches. Uh, Coach Maiden, you work with us as far as getting some college, I mean, professional scouts out. And you also have a network of, of college coaches where you're going to send some information about these kids and try to help them get in college. Uh, that's, that's the key for the older group, for the younger kids. Like you say, Little League World Series, you turn your TV sets on, you're not going to see any of us on there. But if you come here, you're going to see a lot of us, mm -hmm. and, and they're having a the chance to win a national title. I got to I got, correct you on one thing, because I had Jackie Robinson West team but going to Williamsport. <laughs> oh, they and, okay. Yeah, they won yesterday. And I, I, I watched it on the hotel, and I had to call Coach Butler and congratulate him this morning. So we're going to have the first all-black team in the Little League World Series in Williamsport in over 40 years. Okay, congratulations to Jackie Robinson West, and they were here last year, I think, with some of the older teams as a class organization. Yeah. I'm happy to see that, but what we're trying to do, again, yeah. is bring as many African-American teams, and also, we, we're open to everybody. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, we're, we're not trying to compete with Little League by no means, no, but no, no, no. we're trying to offer the same opportunity yeah. that they offer for kids. We want our own identity. That's correct. That's correct. And you called attention to the lack of African-Americans by hosting a symposium in D.C.? That's right. We were um, on Capitol Hill mm. at the uh, House Judiciary committee conference room mm -hmm. and uh, it, it was um, a, a event that would definitely set a precedent for uh, African Americans trying to get back into baseball. We had Major League Players Association represented there with uh, Jeffrey Hammonds. Mm -hmm. We had Major League Baseball being represented with Wendy Lewis. Uh, we had uh, several, we had a uh, college coach Terrence Whittle from Elizabeth City State University whose baseball team was just disbanded mm -hmm. due to lack of resources. Uh, so we brought him in to, to talk about that issue. Um, and we had several others there that mm -hmm. were uh, instrumental in what we're trying to do to, to keep the game alive in our community. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we honored the memories of three of the pioneers of MJBL. Your father, William Forster Sr. Ken Free and 
Ray Bone. Yeah, that's correct. And, and that was your idea, Coach Maiden. It, it, it was really touching to me. Um, I never thought about that. And to honor my father, it really it, it meant a lot to me and my family for you know all the work. And you know the work that I put in. Yeah. You know, so uh, all the work we've done over all these years. So that meant a lot. Ray Boone was basically a cornerstone of the organization. Uh, the editor of the Richmond Free Press, the black newspaper in Richmond that uh, put the word out in the community what really was happening, yeah. as mainstream newspapers sometimes don't do that. And then Ken Free, uh, former commissioner of the MEAC, um, still with us right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's really done a lot. He's taught me a lot mm -hmm. about uh, how to, to generate money mm -hmm. um, and, and various organizational skills mm -hmm. that he learned while he was the commissioner of the MEAC that I tried to incorporate mm -hmm. into what I do now. Well, we're getting ready to get kicked off the field, but the coach is on the road. Once again, leaving the major leaguers, give you amateur baseball from Richmond, Virginia.